Matchbox moving parts? This is new. So yeah, welcome back to another video. Only the one car for this video, and I'm sure most people probably have seen these, or um, uh, I'm sure most of you are going, why on earth are you making a video on this one car? Well, personally, this is something quite interesting to me. Um, something I've never seen before. So here in the UK, we get, or at least in my area, we get Matchbox, the main lines, and um, that's literally a lot. You don't get any other Matchbox at all. Um, there's Matchbox Super Fast, there's Matchbox Premium Strule, I know, there's sets. Over here, or at least where I am, we don't get shit. Excuse my French. So, uh, yeah, it's quite infuriating, actually, because there's some really cool, especially the Super Fast, there's some really awesome stuff that we just don't get. Now, I was browsing Poundland on the off chance they might have had some Hot Wheels, and actually they did have some Hot, Wheel, Hot Wheels. Um, they were long cards. They were older, and they were really beaten up. Um, so, yeah. I think they were two quid as well. Um, they seem to be more expensive down here for some reason. Um, but yeah, these were here. There was only this, this weird Renault Trezor concept, which, I will be honest, I have no care for. It looks... It, concept cars just look weird. I, I don't know what they're on when they make these. Um, and it's probably why... It, and none of them ever get made into production. Um, let's face it, if that's how you get into this car, it's probably best it never got made. So, yeah, this was in the Poundlands. I bought it because it was interesting. Um, I've never seen Matchbox moving parts. I might go have a look into it, or I might not. The problem is, if I go have a look into it, there'll probably be some really cool cars of opening doors and things, and then I'll be, like, upset because we don't get it over here. This is the downside of being a collector in a place that doesn't really t tend to uh, get stuff in for collectors. So yeah, I thought it was quite interesting, so I picked it up. Um, on the back here, we have some stickers, and uh, we have NBC Limited, Chorley Wood Hurts. I mean, you can go look that up, I don't care. Maybe I shouldn't be showing that, I don't know. I don't really care, to be honest. <laughs> I think it's just the company that have imported these. Um... It's somewhere up near London, I think. I think I have looked it up. Um, yeah, I don't actually know. I think they have imported it. Because I thought, well, maybe that's Matchbox Limited. But it's not, because NBC. I searched up the company, and it was some retail office business or something. I can't remember. I didn't look too hard into it. Can I peel this sticker off and see what's underneath? No, it's peeling it away. That's a shame. I really want to see what that sticker underneath says. Manufactured by Mattel Bangkok Limited. Then it has the industrial state of Thailand. By the looks of it. Can we actually get this off? So this is the weird thing of Poundland. The stuff that they sometimes get in is quite often imported from weird places. I don't know why they get it randomly oh it's just yeah it's just peeling off the other label that's a shame i really wanted to see what that said yeah i don't know where pan and get their stuff from um because i'm pretty sure all a lot of their mainline cars are imported from usa sometimes or weird places anyway well, i have a tendency to ramble on if you haven't already noticed Let's get the car out, shall we? So it was quite nice to crack open. A little bit of plastic protector. No more plastic protector. So yeah, the car is plastic based. Let's zoom in on this. Let's have a look at the base first. There you go. You can read that. And if you can't read, tough. So yeah, um, metal body plastic base. This moving piece is also rather plasticky indeed. So it does that. Oh wow. Is that all it does? Oh bloody hell. <laughs> I wonder if these were imported because they didn't sell. <laughs> in uh, the shop they were sold in before. I don't know. I don't know where Poundland get their stuff. I'm not going to go into their stop and, uh, shop and ask. 
where do your random imported Hot Wheels and Matchbox come from. But it is strange, they randomly get cases in and they're never usually up to date. But um, I won't lie, the first super treasure hunt I ever found, uh, legitimately, was in a Poundland. It was randomly imported, it was an old case, and it had been kicked across the floor clearly, or kicked, because uh, it was on the very bottom of the pegs and it was kicked about and all broken. Um, that video is on the channel somewhere. I don't think I've recorded me finding it though. But yeah. Um, so I don't know where Poundland get their stuff from, but I mean, there's this. Uh, it's got the Renault badge and the lights painted in at least, which is quite nice. But I do expect that from Mattel. Uh, Mattel. I do expect that from Matchbox. Um, they seem to be quite good with these things. There. Yeah, rear light details as well, which is nice. All on point. That is the one upside to Matchbox. Their quality control is definitely better than Hot Wheels, and their stuff is usually comes out better. Chromed outline wheels. Got the five spokes that they do love. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Um, you can sort of see the interior a little bit because it doesn't really open that far. And I feel like this just seems... Is it just clipped into two things? Mm, I think I'm going to break it. It looks like it's just clipped into like a little slot there, but I don't want to break it. It's probably held in the front as well. Is that really all it does? Is that it? Should should I not? Should, should am I expecting too much? Yeah, I don't know. All I know is it cost me two pound fifty. I think. Yeah. So I don't know how much these retailed for originally. Um, probably around that. To be fair. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, there we are. Hang on. Let's do the awesome opening feature so you can all see it. Wow, I kind of thought it'd open more and you'd be able to see like the engine bay inside as well, so yeah, I suppose I had my hopes too high. But yeah, you know, it only cost 250 God knows where it's come from, it's been imported twice for some reason. I would hazard a guess it's been imported from Thailand, hence the first sticker, and then they imported it from wherever else to here. But um, yeah, I think I've seen some cars from Poundland from different shops as well. I have no idea. I don't know where they get them from and why, but um, my guess is this is probably a peg warmer that never sold. I could be wrong. Um, if anyone has any info into this, is it part of a, a line of Matchbox moving parts? Um, how old is it as well? I mean, I, this could be years old, this thing. I have no idea. It's a mystery to me, because like I said, we only get Matchbox main lines down here. Oh well. Yeah, sorry to sound a bit like a cynic on this one, but yeah, if you've got any information and your thoughts on this concept car, leave them down below in the comments. As always, I wish you the best of luck on your peg hunts. Cheers for watching the video, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll be sure to see you in the next video.